This is the last day that the Irish Parliament, or Gaul Aaron, sits before its summer recess, where the politicians take two months' holidays. And during that time, Ireland will always be renowned for its hospitality and its endearing personality. However, this year there is a hurricane brewing on the Emerald Isle. Apart from being the wettest summer on record, the Irish people themselves are breaking away from the perception that despite the bailouts, they are the model obedient European society. In 2008, the Fianna Fáil led government gave a blanket guarantee to the main Irish banks who had borrowed way beyond their assets to lend to developers for property developments that were grossly overpriced. This sent the banking system into meltdown, forcing the guarantee and the subsequent arrival of the EU IMF Troika. For four years now, the Irish people have been enduring austerity budgets of cutbacks and more recently tax hikes. This year saw the introduction of a household tax by Fine Gael Environment Minister Phil Hogan. There has been massive resistance to this tax and the austerity programme, which is demonstrated by the thousands of people who turned out for today's protest. The campaign against household water taxes and septic tank taxes is by far the largest, the most powerful nationwide campaign in this state against the vicious regime of austerity to make the working class pay for the bailout of bankers and bondholders. And the fact that 50% of householders representing 2 million or so of our people are maintaining a boycott against the intimidation and the threats that have been heaped upon them is a show of huge determination. The rich haven't just held what they have, they've got 4 percent richer in the last year alone, while the poor have got 80 percent poorer. So it's simple, it's a transfer of wealth from the poor to the rich. That's what the crisis is, that's what the recession is, the money hasn't disappeared, the wealth hasn't disappeared, they are using the atmosphere of crisis and recession to take from the poor and give to the rich. It's simple. The household tax uh, is a new tax that the government has come up with. They've charged people €100 Euro at the moment, flat rate across the country. So you could live in a mansion or you could live in a former council house and you're expected to pay the same money. Uh, but what they've done with this money is the funding that used to go to local government has been pulled and replaced by the household tax. So at the same time they've loaded more tax onto ordinary people, they've also pulled funding away from uh, local services as well. So it's a combination of the both. Uh, which makes this pack so regressive, just so dangerous. This is just the beginning. They want to get people on the hook by getting them to register voluntarily for this charge. And once they do that, uh, there's been a number of reports to the government that indicate they are looking for in the region of a thousand euro a year over the next two or three years. And then they want to introduce water charges so people will have to pay for their water uh, and other forms of stealth and repressive charges that will disproportionately hit the poor and the least well off. Some people would say to you that they pay local taxation in every other country. No problem at all with that. But in other countries you have a say over how it's spent. And also in Ireland uh, we've already paid a house tax through uh, stamp duty. People who bought their houses in the last 10 years over the lifetime of their mortgages. It will work out as in and around 1,500 euros or about uh, maybe about $1,800 every year. And uh, they've already paid that. So why should they have to pay it again? The protesters came from all walks of life, all age groups, and from every part of Ireland. The Germans were stupid enough to give our bankers money. Well, let them take up with it. It's not my problem. My house is my castle and they're not going to put the charge. Along with the bad weather this summer in Dublin, politically there is a storm brewing. Greg Manahan, Dáil Éireann, Dublin.